Good morning. It's Charity Colleen Krause. It is September 15, 2023. Other night, night before last, these three books were attempted for <clears throat> disposal. These books are in the same sort of series that a number of other books from the same series were presented several months ago. I have the information written down. Those books were about organ systems. They were a bit more substantial than these. This one is about the skin. This one's about the eye. This one's about digestion. You mean like how when you eat, you can absorb things into your bloodstream through the lining in your stomach, which is different than subcutaneous or intravenous, right? But let's talk about the eye. Okay. For the record, my understanding is that these books, again, are evidence of what? You've already been informed more than once, over and over again. As a matter of fact, you've been informed. These books would have been attempted for disposal in what would have been the night to the morning of a year and a day after what has been reported as the death of Kenneth Starr. Kenneth Starr, who was one of the major prosecutors on the case, U.S. versus Felix. I understand all too well what the implications are. I've been living with them this whole time. Yesterday, in the evening, in the afternoon to the evening, I ended up finding information that is so harrowing that it is, again, another situation where there's only very, very limited possible responses. The pairing of two matters concerning, allegedly, Securities and Exchange Commission and the Health and Human Services are so criminal and so indictable that even efforts to indict the President of the United States and the former President of the United States at the same time fail to come anywhere close to addressing the profundity of the crimes involved until those two specific documents that were published on the same day at the same time are directly confronted. This is what they were trying to... <clears throat> What? Were they going to burn it? That's right. Now, I will be posting this video today. I want you to understand, it has been more than seven years since August 24th of 2016. It's been more than seven years since August 26th of 2016. It's been more than seven years since March 16th of 2016. The time keeps ticking, right? The clock is still ticking. <laughs>